A little over two months after a jury found that actress Amber Heard had defamed ex-husband Johnny Depp, one insurer of the actress is asking a court to rule it has no obligation to indemnify her. New York Marine and General Insurance Company said in its court filing in the U.S. District Court in California that the jury's finding of defamation established that Amber's liability was caused by the willful acts. As a result, the insurer does not need to pay out on the actress's general liability policy as per the occurrence limit of liability of $1 million, since willful acts are not covered. This is another legal matter that Amber is now facing, and experts believe it can have a significant influence on the pending appeal case. So how is Amber planning to deal with all these troubles? Let's find out. In early June, a jury awarded actor Johnny Depp more than $10 million in his libel lawsuit against Amber Heard who was accused by Depp of lying about his abuse of her during their marriage. The Oscar nominee filed his lawsuit against his ex-wife in Virginia in March 2019, accusing her of defamatory statements in an op-ed in the Washington Post, in which she described herself as a public figure representing domestic abuse. New York Marine, a member of ProSite Specialty Group, said it told Amber the company would provide legal defense and supplied a law firm, but the firm was not included and eventually withdrew from the case, according to the court document. Under the terms of the policy, the actress had obligations to include the insurer during legal proceedings, said New York Marine. The court document also outlined the court's instructions to the jury following the Depp Amber trial to determine if Amber's comments were false intentionally defamatory and made with actual malice. The jury's findings meant that each was true, the insurer alleged. New York Marine is looking for a declaratory judgment to establish as no obligations to repay Amber for the judgment against her or any underlying actions. Meanwhile, Traveler's Commercial Insurance Company filed court documents in the same venue about a year ago to get New York Marine to share in the defense costs related to Amber's case. Travelers, which covered the Machete Kill star under a homeowner's policy, alleges Amber had the right to be defended by independent counsel at New York Marine's expense. New York Marine instead appointed defense counsel of its choice, and it repeatedly refused demands by the mutual insured and by travelers to participate in the defense with counsel of the mutual insured choosing. Travelers said New York Marine intentionally violated its duty to its mutual insured and to Travelers. Travelers said it picked up the defense tab and wants New York Marine to reimburse Travelers half. A filing in April of this year said the Depp Amber case had resulted in more than $8 million in attorney's fees and expenses. The case temporarily stayed until the trial concluded. New York Marine further alleges in the court filing that it issued the liability policy in 2018 to Amber and a corporation that she owns under the Black Sky Incorporated. The corporation was registered in Texas, but Amber is a resident of California. New York Marine contends that insurers cannot be held liable for the willful acts of insureds under California Insurance Code Section 533. What's more, the insurer said in the filing that it retained the Cameron McVoy law firm to defend Amber while reserving its right to decline to indemnify the actress for the loss. However, Amber or her agents instructed the other attorney she retained not to include Cameron Mickey Voy in the defense, so the law firm withdrew from the case, the lawsuit says. The insurer contends that the policy required Amber to cooperate with the defense team. It seems our girl Amber cannot just get it right when it comes to legal matters, and that will surely be the end of her. Remember, this information is based on theories and opinions, and therefore shouldn't be considered facts. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye!